it was good my youtube family i hope you're all doing well if you follow this channel you see i haven't posted anything for over three weeks and in these three weeks i haven't mixed any record or done anything music related if you're wondering what's going on well it's been a lot i have been busy with so many things family a day job youtube just you know posting on other channels listening to music and trying to create and it's just not working Besides being busy, I have been burnt out. I have been out of ideas. I've been feeling so unmotivated about anything music related. Pretty much bored of music in general. All the new songs to me sound like it's the same thing over and over again. I'm failing to see improvements in new records coming out. But you know what's funny? This is not the first time this is happening to me. This is a regular reoccurring incident to me. So I'm used to it at this point. And I just decided to make this video because right now I think I'm finding myself again. I'm finding my strength and motivation back to make music. And I would like to tell any creator or producer or a mix engineer listening to this, this is a normal thing to go through. Burnout is just a natural thing. Especially when you've got a thing that you love and you do it every day, every week, and it runs into months and even years. For sure, you will get to a point where you can't be as productive anymore. And if you ever feel like taking a break, for sure, 100% do that. That's not you being lazy. That's just you going through a reset process and trying to figure yourself out. As long as you're not thinking, I want to quit. Oh, this is the end for me. As long as you know you will come back and you just want to take a break, go ahead and do it. Because in these times, in my case, when it happens like this, it pushes me to go out there and just learn new things, learn new tricks and tips and try to apply it in my day-to-day -day workflow, listen to new music. Because the thing is, yeah, there's always new music. We just have to go out and search for it. And when I go through this phase of being so unproductive, being so unmotivated, and I listen to new music and I find something that I really like, I try to replicate that from a mixed standpoint. That's how I find my spark again. So if you ever feel burnt out, just take some time off and do your research, try to improve yourself. Because the reason why you're feeling bored is probably you've been doing the same thing over and over again and you're not finding any improvements to it. But then again, this advice might not even work for you if you're making music or doing art for a living. If it's the only thing that you do that brings food to your table, keeps the light on at home, then you might not have the luxury of just taking a break or leaving it alone and coming back at a later time. In a case like that, then you got to find alternative ways. But if you're a person who's got a day job or you've got other things that you do aside from music or whatever art it is that you're into and you've got a day job and you just mix it with this one i'll tell you yeah on social media you see all of these things people say i quit my job to follow my dream full time that's lovely that's beautiful and that is very possible but the thing the reality of life is before your art starts giving you um enough money to live off of it takes some time and before you get to that point keep your day job reason being when you quit your day job now you're looking at your art as a job and we all know we get tired of working at some point so in order to keep your hobby or your craft or your art fun if you have a day job just keep it and get the steady income from that while your art or your music is still like fun to you that way you can produce and create without pressure of oh i need to deliver this on time so i can make this amount of money or that amount of money from it and that's just easier until it gets to a point where your art or your music is generated enough money for you to sustain yourself to live off of that then you will know when to stop or when to quit your day job but until that time don't just quit because it's cool because it's not but anyways i just wanted to make a quick video and just speak to you all tell you i'm still here there's new ideas coming there's loads of videos to be made um some videos i already made but i haven't posted them yet hopefully i'm able to cut this video tonight post it tomorrow morning and you see it but anyways thanks for watching i hope you found some form of value from this video and i hope that you get back your motivation and return to being productive i'll see you again on the next video goodbye